In this video, you will learn what is the difference between expressions and equations. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you want to master topics on algebra, start right now by subscribing and clicking on the bell so you don't miss anything. Now, let's have a look at expressions versus equation in algebra. And what is an expression? An expression it is a mathematical statement. An expression does not contain an equal sign. And a typical example of an expression would be something like 6y plus 9. Since we now know what is an expression, let's move into the parts of an expression. So let's have a look at this expression we have, which is 3x plus 8. The first part we need to have a look at is called the variable. And the variable is basically the symbol. And the next part is the operation. And the operation is the sign, whether it's plus, minus, the time sign, or the division sign. This is called the operation in expression. And the next thing is the number. A number on its own is called a constant. So it does not have a variable with it. It's just a number on its own, such as eight. This is called a constant. However, a number with a variable is called a coefficient. Since we now know the parts of an expression, let's move on to what is an equation. So, in an equation, two things are equal and an equation contains an equal sign. What do we mean by that? So if you have a look at this equation we have, which is 2z plus 6 equals 17. And in this, as you guys can see, we have an equal sign. And also, in this equation, two things are equal because in an equation, Two things are equal. So 2z plus 6 is basically the same as 17. So we had a look at what is an expression, a parts of an expression, and what is an equation. So let's move on to forming expression and equations. Sometimes you may get a worded question where it asks you to form an expression or an equation. So in this type of case, they normally say something like, I think of a number such as x. And you may get some phrases like this for addition such as a number plus five. And in the question, they might say something like, the number I think of is x. And then you have to form an expression from that. So we have a number plus five, x plus five, because it said the number I was thinking of was x. And then I add five to this number, what will I get? So you would have to write x plus five. Or if you get something like the sum of a number and three, in this case, the sum of the number and three, the number they think and the three which will be x plus 3. Another one would be 6 more than a number. So you're basically going to have 6 more than the number they think, which is x, so it basically will be x plus 6. So we had a look at addition. So now let's have a look at forming expression and equations in terms of subtraction. And in this case, let's once again say that they say the number I'm thinking of is x and the number minus the 5. So the number I think minus 5, and the number they're thinking of is x, and then you're taking away 5 or minus 5, which will be x minus 5. Another example could be something like the difference between 4 and a number, the difference between 4 and the number they're thinking. The number they're thinking is x, so the difference between 4 and x will just be x minus 4. Or if you have something like 3 less than a number, is 3 less than the number they think, which is x, which means you would get x minus 3. So we had a look at subtraction. Let's move on to forming expression and equations in multiplication. And in multiplication, it's going to be the same once again. So eight times the number they're thinking. The number they're thinking is x, and you're timesing eight to it, which will be eight x. Or if you have something like the product of six and a number, the product means multiplying. So you have six and a number, you're basically multiplying the six and the number which means you will get 6x. The next one is a number multiplied by 2. This one is pretty simple. So the number is x, multiply that by 2, will give you 2x. We had a look at multiplication also. Let's move on to division. So let's move on to forming expression and equations in division. This one is going to be a bit different, but the idea is the same. So let's have a look at an example, a number divided by 2. The number they think of is x, as we said before, and then you're dividing 2 from the x. So you're going to do x over 2. 
And remember, whenever you're doing division in algebra, you most of the time write it in a fraction form, such as x over 2. Another example could be the quotient of a number and 3. The quotient just means the answer you get from dividing. So basically, we're going to divide the number and 3. So you're going to divide the x and the 3, which means you would do x over 3, or x divided by 3. The next one is 1 eighth of a number. 1 eighth of a number, basically 8 of that number. So you're going to do x divided by 8. Having learned that, now let's have a look at actual worded problems to get a better understanding. The first example we're going to have a look at is I think of a number, I call it x, I multiply my number by 4, then I add 7. Write an expression to show the result. So they think of a number and they call it x. Then they multiply the number by 4. It says I multiply my number by 4. So they're doing x multiplied by 4. In other words, 4 times x, which is obviously 4x. Then I add 7. Next, they're adding 7 to this 4x. And then finally, write an expression to show the result. So you're adding the 7 to the 4x, which means our expression will be 4x plus 7. So that's how you form an expression. Now, let's move into an equation. So let's have a look at an example. And the example we have is I think of a number, I call it n, I triple my number, then I subtract it by 12. The result is twice the number I'm thinking of. Write an equation to show this. The first thing is I think of a number and I call it n. So they're calling their number n. Then I triple my number. So they're tripling the number, which is called n. So they're doing n times 3 or 3 times n, which is basically the same as 3n. Then I subtract it by 12. So they're basically going to subtract it by 12. In other words, they're going to subtract the 3n by 12. So you're going to get 3n minus 12. The next thing we have, the result is twice the number I'm thinking of. Well, in this case, because it's an equation, we know that we have an equal sign and we know that two things in an equation are balanced, which means we have two parts to an equation. We have one part and the other part is obviously the result. So we found out one part of the equation, which is 3n minus 12. Next thing, we have to find out the actual result. And the result is twice the number I'm thinking of. The number they're thinking of is n, and the result is twice the number. So it's going to be 2 times n, in other words, 2n. So the result is going to be 2n, which means we get an answer of 3n minus 12 equals 2n. Now to learn more on algebra, click the video on the right. And to learn the previous topic, click the video on the left. So take your pick. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.